Thank you, Nadia. Thank you, uh, and, uh, China Admission for having me here. Uh, I'd like to give a brief introduction uh, for myself. I'm from a uh, national school of uh, Peking University. So um, I noticed that uh, some of you have asked some questions regarding the application for Peking University other programs, but I have to say that I'm from the National School of Development. So I'm responsible for the two international MB programs recruitment in our school. So um, I will answer those questions, uh, questions later focusing on these two programs. First, I'd like to give a brief introduction for uh, this um, uh, for our school, actually. Uh, the National School of Development is a comprehensive college that offers a multidisciplinary environment for teaching and research in economics, management science, and public policy. Um, in, uh, in its predecessor, the CCER, the China Center for Economic Research, was established in 1994 by Professor Just Ifling and other six um, overseas trained economists who come back to China and they have the common target that to understand China and to do research of the China economy fast. So following the expansion of the teaching and the research, the CCER was renamed NSD, the National School of Development in, 19, in, 20, in 2008. Okay, actually the uh, National School of Development um, is a leading institution that combines teaching, research and policy advising. So, and also uh, we are think tank actually for the central government of China. So um, in our teaching, you will find that uh, we have the full systematic uh, programs that in business field and also um, economic fields. So we organize, uh, we operated two um, international MB program with overseas partners, one from University College of London, in UK and the other one from the Blavrick Business School in uh, Belgium. And uh, we also have two uh, master programs embedded in these two MBA programs. So that means you can finish your MBA program together with the master programs. We have our EMBA as well in the uh, business fields. So uh, since 2016, there is another additional school that we operated under NSD. It's the same frame form of NSD is ISCAT, which means the Institute of South-South Cooperation and Development. This is a program initiated by President Xi Jinping and to recruit those senior government officers from developing countries and the Belt and Road countries to study the China's experience in the past 40 years. And um, under the National School of Development framework, there are 14 um, research centers which provide the uh, public policies, uh, consultancies for the central government of China. And we also rank the top two in all the think tanks around China in recent years. So if asked what's the differences between our business school and the other's business school, that means we are a business school in the, in the think tank. So our founder is that the prof uh, professor just a full lane. The uh, uh, he 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 helped that he w our program will train our students uh, micro um, visions and to help those companies to solve the detailed issues in their daily uh, operations. So. Um, uh, just uh, four years after the uh, predecessor CCER of uh, our school founded that we have worked together with American University to be to, the, uh, to establish the first international MBA programs in Beijing. And uh, since 2008, we worked together with uh, Vlarek Business School from Belgium and to launch an MBA program focusing on the general management. And I have to say that Vlarek is also a triple accreditation business school. Uh, from the accreditation from EMBA, ACSB, and the ECWIS. Since 2016, we worked together with uh, one of the uh, G5 university in UK, University College London, to launch a uh, disruptive MBA programs for the uh, future uh, uh, business leaders at uh, this program. So currently, we have two international MBA programs and two recruits globally. Um, and in the past 25 years, we have received many accreditation uh, uh, recommend, uh, 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 we have received many um, uh, value, the, the, uh, received the uh, values from the uh, um, many third parties like the uh, Forbes China and the QS top MBAs and uh, Fortune Chinas which has ranked our MBA programs uh, top on top two in mainland China and also but I still prefer the Bloomberg Business Week which, uh, business Week, which gave us a uh, cover story report that with a title, MBA with a Heart. So I'd like to give a brief introduction for our two uh, international partners. One is uh, Vlarek Business School, and it is a triple accreditation business school, as I mentioned previously. And uh, it is established in 1953, funded by Ghent University and uh, Leuven 
KU Leuven, which are the two of the most uh, oldest universities in Europe. So in 1968, Vlaverick Business School launched its first MBA program. So it has 50, more than 50 years of MBA programs operating experience. So you could uh, research that uh, from the uh, QS global MBA rankings or financial time MBA rankings in all the European business school they ranked around the 20. All the students who have been enrolled in these programs will finally receive the degree issued from Vlaric business program, a business school. So it will be the same exactly the degree as it issued in Europe. So you come to study in China and find you can receive the degree issued from Vlaric Business School and the same as the issued in their home campus. So, but meanwhile, you will be the alumni of both Peking University and the Vlaric Business School. And uh, Vlaric Business School and uh, Peking University MBA programs are featuring uh, core courses of uh, 13 core courses. It covers six areas. You can read from my slides. And the most of strength is that uh, we offer the 27 electives and to help our part-time students to personalize their, their desire, then their um, study experience in their second year. So uh, it's quite suitable for the uh, uh, students or the professionals who currently now work in China because we only offer the part-time programs uh, in this um, uh, class module. And uh, you will also select uh, from the uh, one elective courses in Silicon Valley and also uh, a uh, management integration uh, project to transfer the knowledge that you learn in class and to the real business world. So um, another, um, another uh, partner that is um, University College of London. I think you're more familiar with that. And uh, UCL that actually founded in, in 1826. Uh, older than uh, Peking University actually. And it is also the first university in England to welcome students of any religion and the first to welcome women on equal terms with men. And also at the ranking at number one in UK for its research strength in research excellence framework, that the REF uh, rankings number one in UK. And also it is one of the G5 universities that um, represents the uh, best um, uh, research capability and the teaching capability in UK. So uh, it's ranked at number eight in the 2020 QS World Universities. So um, there are 29 Nobel Prize laureates in UCL history. All the students enrolled in this MBA program that will be finally received the, issued, received the degree issued from UCL, exactly the same one that issued in local in London campus. And also Peking University will give you the certification to certify these programs taught in total in Peking University. And you will receive the alumni card from both Peking University and UCL. So it will help you to uh, build a worldwide networking, alumni networking around the 500,000 alumni groups. So uh, as I mentioned before that uh, UCL and PKU MBA program featuring those um, very uh, uh, forward looking subjects. So, so it covers the seven key models, covers the uh, uh, mainly business subjects, but also in their in our uh, elective courses, we will cover the new trends in innovation, entrepreneurship in Europe, China, and the global context. But also there will be some uh, elective courses for the emerging business technologies, big data, and analytical thinking for the business professionals in future. So um, you will choose three weeks to, to study in UK, in London, that for the innovation and the entrepreneurship there, entrepreneurship module there. And also you can do your business research project as your final report to have, a, to have the a company that will solve a real business. So we offer full-time and part-time programs for PKU and UCL MBA programs. So you can, you can finish the uh, full-time classes only in 16 months. That will save you uh, the time and uh, minimize the risk that you leave the job market. So that means that you will go back to the job, job market as soon as possible within 16 months. And um, uh, what is more uh, competitive is that our core courses can be uh, finished within eight months. That means uh, from September you enrolled in this year to uh, May next year, you can finish your core courses. And then you can choose to have your elective in London for the innovation and entrepreneurship module, or you can just choose to do your internship in Beijing. And some of our full-time students that can even do two internships terms during their study in our full-time class cohort. And also together with a personalized career development plan and one-on-one -on -one mentor programs will help you to do the uh, career transfer in your MBA study. 
So there are two master programs embedded in our MBA programs. If you are interested in the global finance or the real estate management, you will choose from our master programs that can save you the time. For example, if you choose the global finance master, you can only you can just do three weeks of study in our partner university in New York, in Fordham University. Then you just come back to China and to finish the other uh, elective courses here in China, then you can get another degrees with very minimum uh, tuition cost compared with you studying in US. Okay, so uh, what I want to mention is that the, um, our core values is in our program is affected from National School of Development. Actually, they are the uh, best of the best uh, economists in China. And um, you will also meet those professors from the management subjects, from the leadership subjects, from the uh, uh, China economics, and also from the strategy, uh, big data, marketing, and also China traditional leadership and also innovation uh, lectures. You will meet those professors from uh, National School of Development in Peking University, but also as a real international MBA program, you will meet 50% of the professor. They are coming from our partner university in overseas. They will come from Vlarek Business School and the University College London Management School. They will fly to Beijing and accompany our students here and to finish this MBA program here in Beijing. So uh, we are helping our students to establish a community of excellence. In our programs, you will not only meet the MBA students, EMBA students in the business field, but also you will meet those researchers from in the uh, master and uh, PhD of uh, economics uh, field. And also you will meet the senior government officers from ISCAD government, uh, uh, is called us too, and uh, you will meet those senior government officers from developing countries and also Belt and Road countries, and you will be classmates uh, with them. So, in addition to that, we have CHO 100 programs, which we trained uh, those 100 um, chief HR officers from top 100 uh, uh, companies and in China. And after the training, they will become the mentors for our MBA students and to help our MBA students to do the uh, career transfer uh, after their study. So uh, we can have a snapshot for our MBA students uh, and to see that uh, um, what types of students or what type of young guys that you will study with in the following two years. So for our full-time students, they are young and they are energetic. Um, so they are coming here and to challenge themselves and to find the ways in their future. The average working experience 5.5 years and their average age is around 30 years old. 20% of them, they are international students, but 70% of them, they have overseas academic background. That means they got their first or second degree study in the overseas famous universities. So nearly one fourth of them have already received their master degrees before entering our MBA programs. So for the UCL part-time MBA students, that uh, we, the average working experience is much senior. It's about eight years in average and um, uh, 32 years old in average. One third of them have overseas academic background and 40% of them has already got their master or PhD degrees before the entering our MBA programs actually. The industry uh, is much more diversified compared with uh, uh, full-time uh, because they from uh, most of the from the local, uh, each local China industry. So if, our, uh, if you are overseas students, you come to study in China, our full-time programs, you will work together with our part-time student in the third semester for your elective courses. So you will have more chance and more opportunities to mingle with those part-time students in our MBA program and to understand the China economic much better. And for the uh, Valeric MBA programs, is quite similar as our uh, UCL uh, part-time MBA students, but they are more senior and their average working experience is 11 years and their average age is 35 years old. 20% of them have overseas academic backgrounds and one third of them have received the uh, master or PhD degrees before, uh, before they enter our MBA program. Industry allocation is quite similar as our UCL MBA program. It's also very diversified. As I mentioned that we have designed a very systematic career development uh, planning for our uh, full-time MBA students. So in each term, you will have very uh, uh, diversified uh, career development events. So to know about yourself, train, touch the market and do reflection and uh, career job ma matchings in the last terms. So we will also accompany our full-time MBA students with one-on-one -on -one career consulting services and also one-on-one -on -one career mentor programs to help them the growth in their job market. 
So uh, here is a um, description and analysis about our query mentors. So 70% uh, of them actually, they hold the position uh, of VP and above. So they're from those leading companies in uh, globally, and also they cover the most of the industry that our MBA program, if our MBA student target at. So of all of our MBA students can choose a mentor um, during the MBA study and to help them to uh, polish their skills in the future career planning. So we keep a very, maintain a very great relationship with all those leading companies in China and globally. And those are those companies selection that our MBA students goes to in the past years. And finally, I'd like to share some uh, requirement application rounds for this year. Still, we are uh, recruiting the uh, 2020 for some, uh, in the, the, um, the, uh, in the fourth semester entry um, uh, enrollment. So you can submit all the uh, documents in our website, official website, and uh, if you pass our evaluation, we will invite you for the campus test. Okay, you will have a very uh, similar information from our school website, and uh, we still have a round four and the last round for your application, and the tuition fee is 53,000 US dollars. Okay. Um, I know that you have asked a lot of questions uh, for the scholarship, so our, uh, we provide uh, many scholarship opportunities. For the full time, we can even cover 70% uh, of our full time students from uh, 65,000 RMB to full scholarship opportunities. So I, I encourage you to apply. Yes, that's mainly about our uh, introduction of the programs. So if you have any questions later, yeah. you can keep contact with us from the, uh, our website and uh, email. Thank you. Thank you, Nadia.